hello everyone very good morning in today's class we'll discuss regarding the routes of drug administration in previous we have seen regarding the rights of drug administration all the six rights we have seen and in today's class we'll see what are all the routes of this drug administration coming to the routes of drug administration if you see we have different types of routes here so i'll classify you so that it will be very easy so we have two types mainly we are dividing it into systematic as well as local in systemic if you see we have two types enteral and parenteral so enteral means nothing but the oral route the oral route which is involving through which we take the medicine generally so we have oral route and the sublingual as well as rectal route so rectal means it is in the anus and sublingual means it is in the mouth and oral also directly through the mouth sublingual means beneath the tongue we are keeping and coming to the parenteral route if you see we have inhalational we have injections and also we have transdermal so coming to the injections there are different types of injections we have intravenous injections we have intramuscular injections intravenous means these are directly involving the venous system it is given to the veins and intramuscular means it is given to the muscle subcutaneous means to the fat layer and intraarterial means directly to the arteries and intraarticular intrathecal and intradermal so we are mainly giving in different areas intrathecal means it is coming to the spinal area okay intra derma means we are mainly giving it into the under the skin we are giving and coming to the local part we have skin topical we have intranasal we have ocular we have mucosal and we have vaginal we have mouth and ear and also we have inhalational and transdermal so these are the classification of routes of drug administration now we'll see one by one clearly coming to the oral route if you see first one in oral route medicines are mainly given by what, what? through mouth we are giving the medicine so first one is sublingual administration so if you see the sublingual administration you can see here the patient she is keeping the medicine under the tongue so this one is mainly the sublingual administration and coming to the buccal administration if you see the buccal administration so you can see here the medicine is kept in the cheek it is kept in the cheek and coming to the oral administration directly we are taking to the mouth and we are swallowing the medicine coming to the parenteral roots we have as we have seen we have different types of parenteral roots mainly in parenteral root it is involving the injection of medicine into the body tissue so based on the involvement of the tissues they have classified into four major sites so we have intradermal which means the injection is given under the skin mainly under the epidermis and subcutaneous means which the injection just below the dermis of the skin and intramuscular means into the muscle and intravenous means into the vein so these are some of the four major sites of injection here as you can see in the picture if you see whenever we are giving the intradermal injection we are going at an angle of 15 degrees and if it is intravenous since there is the veins are circulated just below the epidermis we will go at an angle of 25 degrees and if it is subcutaneous we are going at the angle of 45 and if it is intramuscular directly we will go at the angle of 90 degrees so you can see the layers of skin here so firstly we have epidermis and we have dermis and subcutaneous tissue and muscle tissue and as you can see in the picture itself the vein is most probably in the dermis and it is also touching the epidermis lower part so like that the angle of injection will depend upon the type of injection that you are doing if it is intradermal we will go at an angle of 15 degrees and if it is intravenous we will go at an angle of 25 degrees and if it is subcutaneous we are going at an angle of 45 degrees and if it is intramuscular directly we are going at an angle of 90 degrees coming to the epidural if you see the medicine is mainly administered in the epidural spaces if it is intrathecal administration of medicine mainly into the subarachnoid space or any one of the ventricles of the brain so here intra epidural means mainly we are giving the injection in the epidural space intrathecal means we are giving in the subarachnoid or ventricles of the brain so this is epidural and intrathecal intraosseous means mainly the administration of medication directly into the bone marrow so it is called as intraosseous so all these things they will come under the body cavities so some of the medicines we are giving in the body cavities 
so what are these cavities epidural intrathecal intraosseous intraperitoneal intraplural and intra arterial so epidural means you have already seen intrathecal you have already seen intraosseous means the medication is directly given into the bone marrow intraperitoneal means we are administering the medicine into the peritoneal cavity intraplural means directly into this pleural space where it is covering the lungs and intra arterial means the medication is directly administered into the arteries so these are some of the roots and if you see the topical roots in topical roots we have mainly eyes ears nose mouth vagina urethra and rectum so these are all some of the topical roots where we apply the medicine and now we'll see what are the other roots that, that are like passages or endotracheal or tracheous tubes mainly this one is inhalational root so here whatever the medicine is there that is inhaled either nasally or orally as you can see here here the patient is inhaling and with the help of oxygen mask and nebulizer what we are doing we are giving the medicine and with the help of et tube we are administering the medicine so these are some of the inhalational medicines so this is the roots of drug administration so very simple just you need to by heart this classification so we have enteral root and we have parenteral root enteral root includes oral sublingual and rectal and parenteral root in involves inhalational injections and transdermal as you have seen so local root involves skin topical intranasal ocular drops mucosal throat vagina and mouth and ear inhalational and transdermal so with this we are done with this roots of drug administration thank you for watching if you like the content please like share and subscribe